For today's video, I'm going to do a full face of my top 20 clean beauty favorites of 2023. These are all products that I have absolutely loved this year and the products that I have used the most. And these are all products that are marketed as a clean beauty. I know the words a clean beauty is an unregulated term and it does not have an exact definition, but these are all products that are either marketed as clean beauty or they make it clear that they avoid a variety of different potentially harmful ingredients. So let's go ahead and get into it. I figured rather than just telling you what my favorites are for the year, it would be more fun to actually show you guys me applying them to my face. So starting off with one of my favorite bases from this year, it is the Say Glowy Super Gel. This was such an easy product to pick out. Honestly, every single product that I picked out for this video, they were obvious I knew what to pick. The Say Glowy Super Gel in the shade Star Glow is absolutely gorgeous. The other shade is beautiful as well. I do have the Sun Glow version as well. The shade is just a really gorgeous like bronzy shade. It's great for the summer. I haven't used this one nearly as much and I purchased this during the summer so I haven't used it as long but I have gone through a whole bottle of this before and this is a new bottle and I'm actually I feel like I'm starting to get low on it again but anyway I love 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 this product it is absolutely beautiful it's great for just skin prep before applying your makeup or even if you just want a healthy looking glowy base and you didn't want to apply other makeup this is just so pretty it makes your skin look so glowy dewy and healthy i mean just look at it i look like i just did my skincare it just immediately gives your skin such a gorgeous and healthy luminosity i absolutely love it i've used this so much this year and then for like a foundation or tinted base i had to choose the tower 28 sunny days tinted spf this is the shade 20 maholland though the shade that i've used most of the year is the shade 15 melrose and 20 maholland this is just a shade that i had from summer i also have the shade 15 melrose with me as well i've gone through several of these these are so gorgeous i love them that it is both a sunscreen and it can kind of act like a foundation as well whenever I want something that's gonna even out the skin tone a little bit and just provide a little bit of coverage. Something that just makes my skin look so nice and healthy. It just blends into the skin so beautifully, so seamlessly. I love that my skin still just looks like my skin. It doesn't look like I have a heavy foundation on. It just looks so nice it makes my skin look so healthy i mean just look how gorgeous and glowy my face looks i know it looks pretty oily when i first apply it it looks like mega dewy but that's okay because i do set my face with a powder then one of my favorite concealers from this year is the rare beauty under eye brightener i have just loved this this year i have used this so so much it has a nice like cooling tip applicator which feels really nice especially in the morning and i just love that it gives a little bit of brightening to my under eyes and it's a very light formula so it doesn't look heavy at all which is fantastic it blends in really well makes my under eyes look more awake and it just blends in so seamlessly. This has definitely been a favorite this year. And then another concealer for a concealer that I use on my face for spot concealing, I have really loved the Tower 28 Swipe Concealer, and I have just absolutely loved this. The more that I've used it, the more I have just come to really, really like this concealer, and I just kind of dot it randomly all over my face because I do have some post-acne marks that I like to cover up and just some areas where I have some redness. It does a nice job at giving a bit of coverage without it being like full coverage. I'd say it's like a medium coverage, and it just does a nice job at covering up any dark spots a little bit without completely covering them up, um, and it just looks nice and not overly heavy. So I like that, especially on a daily basis or whenever I do my makeup, I just want my makeup to look really natural. Not like totally cover up my skin, but just help my skin look nice and healthy. And then for my favorite powder of the year, it is absolutely the Kosas Cloud Set. Here's a little mini size that I have. And then I also have a full size here. I'm gonna use this little mini size in the shade Breezy. And I'm gonna use this under my eyes just to set the concealer and I love this brush from Kosas. This is their uh, face detailer brush. It's perfect for setting the under eyes. 
any any small or any small areas on your face so so nice but i just love this powder i feel like it blurs the skin a little bit it sets makeup really well and i have two different shades right now mini size in the shade breezy and then i have a full size in the shade feathery breezy is a lighter shade which is why i wanted to use that one under my eyes feathery i bought this during the summer to have a little bit of a darker shade for the summer so i like to take this one and i just set my entire face with it just lightly set my face with it. I absolutely love this powder and I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for a good setting powder. My favorite contour stick from this year is definitely the Westman Atelier contour stick. I have it in the shade Biscuit and this is a mini size. This has lasted me a long time. I really feel like you don't even necessarily have to buy the full size because the mini size still lasts a long time given I don't do my makeup every single day. So maybe if you're somebody who does your makeup every day, maybe you would want to get the full size, but this mini size has lasted me a very long time. And I just love the formula of this. Everyone was hyping it online and I totally get why once I tried it, I totally understood. For the longest time, I did not buy this just because it's pretty expensive, but they have this mini size, which I believe is only $25. So I decided to give it a try and I absolutely love it. I mean, look how easy it is to blend into the skin. It looks so seamless and it looks natural. This shade biscuit, I feel like just works really, really well for me. And it just blends in like a dream, makes my skin have a nice warmth to it in a way where it's not like orangey. It just is a really nice, shade for me and the formula is just so so beautiful for a blush i really couldn't pick just one blush because i love blush and there have been quite a few favorite blushes from this year so i'm gonna mention them all so for the liquid blushes that i have loved this year it is the say do blushes specifically the shade peachy i've also tried the shade rosy and it's gorgeous but i love the shade peachy it's just this gorgeous pinky peach shade absolutely beautiful i'm gonna apply this one today and it just blends in so well it just looks so healthy and gives a nice glow luminous dewy look to your face but then i've also loved love loved the rare beauty liquid blushes this is the shade bliss this one has definitely been a favorite of mine, the shade particularly. I do like a variety of the shades, but the shade Bliss has definitely been my most used. It's just a really gorgeous everyday pink shade, and I feel like this one isn't as intense when you put it on. I mean, you can definitely build up the pigment if you want to, but it isn't as intense as I feel like some of the other shades are, but it's just such a gorgeous pink shade. I absolutely love it. And then I also want to mention the Westman Atelier blush. This is their stick blush. And this is the shade Minette. This is such a gorgeous shade. I mean, it's gorgeous. It kind of has like a little bit of luminosity in it. It doesn't have chunks of glitter, but it's definitely a luminous type of blush, not a matte blush. And it's just so gorgeous. This one has been a favorite of mine as well. Just like the contour stick, the blush stick, it just blends into your skin like a dream. Like it really just like melts into your skin. Absolutely beautiful. I have done a video on this if you want to see my review of it and if you want to see it demoed on the skin, but it's such a gorgeous blush. And then I can't not mention the RMS Beauty Hydro Powder Blushes. These are so, so good. You've probably seen me talk about these on my channel quite a bit if you are subscribed to my channel or you watch my videos often, but I love these blushes. I have all of the shades except for one shade now because they did launch a few more shades. Um, and this is one of the newer shades. This is a shade Bohemian Girl. It's a really gorgeous peachy pink shade and I do love, I feel like I love all of the shades, but my favorites are definitely Bohemian Girl, French Rosé, Maiden's Blush, and also My Thai. Absolutely gorgeous. Those ones are definitely my most used shades, but all the shades are honestly so, so pretty. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this shade on top, but I mean, the packaging is gorgeous and this is a luminous blush. Again, not chunks of glim glitter, but it gives a luminous finish. And again, this is the shade Bohemian Girl. And I personally love luminous blushes. I honestly like luminous blushes more than matte blushes. I feel like they just make my face look so much more bright and just kind of glowy healthy. I just love a glowy look 
and these just give such a gorgeous glowy healthy look to the skin so i absolutely love these blushes and if you're on the look for a powder blush with a luminous finish i would definitely recommend the rms beauty hydro powder blushes these are absolutely beautiful and i have done a swatch video swatching all of the shades besides the newer shades on my youtube channel if you do want to check out the swatch video if you're not sure what shades you might like the best hopefully that video can help you out because i swatched them both on my arm and also on my face so Hopefully that can help you figure out what shades you like the most. All right, so then moving on to bronzer. My favorite bronzer of this year is the Kosas, the Sun Show Bronzer. I have it in the shade Waves, and this is the lightest shade that they have. I actually also purchased the shade up from this one. That's a little bit of a deeper shade for the summer. That one was actually way too deep for my skin tone. It just looked way too intense on my skin. So that did not work for me, but the lightest shade works for me. And when I first tried this bronzer, it like, I felt like it barely showed up on my skin, but now that I've tried it again, I tried it like a year ago, I feel like. And then I tried it again and I have just been absolutely loving it. So I'm really glad that I gave it another try. This brush, this is the Kosas Contour Fan Brush. This brush initially reminded me of like a highlighter fan brush, but it's much larger than a highlighter fan brush. And it just works really, really well for applying bronzer. It's nice and fluffy, super soft, and I feel like it just disperses product really nicely where you're not getting too much product on it and it's not gonna make your bronzer look too intense. It just really nicely disperses the product. Definitely has been my favorite bronzer of this year. Now for brows. My favorite brow pencil of the year. I'm gonna have to give it to the Kosas Brow Pop Nano. Such a little mini eyebrow pencil. I do have a full review on this if you wanna check it out, but this is such a nice brow pencil. Just makes it so easy to draw in those hair -like like strokes and the shade taupe is amazing it works so well for me it's like the perfect shade for me i do also really love their original brow pop eyebrow pencil that one is also so so nice but when this launched and i tried it out this is the one i've definitely been using the most but i do still absolutely love the original brow pop but this one is so so nice so quick and easy to use because the applicator is so small i thought it was actually gonna potentially make it take a lot longer to do my brows, but it really doesn't. I mean, that's it. It's just really quick, has a spoolie on the other side. So it's still really quick and easy to use and I've just been loving it. So this has definitely been my favorite brow product from this year, but I also actually want to mention another brow product that I'm, I was late to trying, but I also wanna mention the Ilia eyebrow pencil because this is also really, really nice and it's one that I've been using a lot ever since I got it. And it is so, so nice. It just is super easy to use. I've done a video on this if you wanna check it out. You can check out my full face of Ilia. I've done a variety of those videos, but check out the one from this year. So, so nice, so quick and easy to use. Nice, precise pencil, has a spoolie on the other side. So this one is also really, really great. And I also wanted to mention it as a favorite because I have been really, really enjoying it this year. And then as far as a favorite brow gel this year, I have to give it to the Rare Beauty Brow. I'm not, what is it called? I think it's just called the their eyebrow gel. I'm not so sure if I'm giving it the correct name, but I really, really have enjoyed this. It's just a clear brow gel, but I like that you can kind of create that laminated brow look if you want to or you can just use a little bit of it and use it to really set your brows. And this brow gel will really help keep your brows in place. Your brows are not going anywhere with this brow gel. It works so, so nicely. And I just love that it has the type of formula where you can create that laminated brow look if you want to. Absolutely love it. I have done a whole video on this if you wanna check that out. I demo what it looks like if you wanna do that laminated brow look with it. The Kosas Air Brow Clear Gel is also a favorite of mine, but that's not a new product at all. It's been a favorite of mine for quite a while. So I wanted to mention the Rare Beauty Brow Gel because it has definitely been a favorite of mine this year. My favorite highlighter of, year, of this year is the Rare Beauty. This is their highlighter, their powder highlighter. I have the shade Exhilarate and the shade Enlighten. I do really enjoy both of these shades. This is the shade Exhilarate really pretty like champagne shade. And then this is the shade Enlighten. And this is kind of like a lighter, like white. Ooh, I just took a chunk out of it with my nail. This is like a white pearly shade, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just gonna use the shade Exhilarate. It's so, so pretty. Gives the skin such a gorgeous glow. Absolutely love it. 
So I have absolutely loved this highlighter this year. And then on to mascara. My favorite mascara of this year has definitely been the Rare Beauty Mascara. This is a little mini size. I do also have a full size of it. It's such a nice mascara. This has definitely been my most used mascara this year, but I also wanna mention the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara because I also really do enjoy this mascara. This has definitely been another favorite of mine this year. I have a video on it if you wanna check it out, but for today's video, I am going to apply the Rare Beauty Mascara. It lengthens my lashes really well. It gives really nice volume, and I feel like my lashes do a good job at actually somewhat holding a curl with this mascara, which my lashes normally don't like to do. So this has just been an absolute favorite of mine this year. It's such a nice mascara. And then onto the lips, my favorite lip liner this year is the Tower 28 Multi Liner in the shade Fill Me In. I love this shade. The other shade, Work of Art, is also really nice, but this is actually not just a lip liner. This is actually a multi stick. Given the name Multi Liner, it can be used for the lips, it could be used for blush, it could be used for eyeliner it's definitely a multi-use product but i have definitely used it the most as a lip liner and this shade fill me in is the perfect everyday pink shade i feel like it's very similar to my natural lip color but so so nice i just love this for a lip liner it's a really quick way to just give my lips a little bit of something, a little bit of color. So I'll do a little bit of this, kind of smudge it on my lips a little bit, and then I'll just apply a clear product on top. So the next lip product that's been a favorite of mine this year is the Ilia Lip Wrap a Reviving Balm. This is so, so nice. I've gone through quite a few of these this year. They're so, so nice. Now this is a lip treatment, so kind of a treatment that you would think you would use like at nighttime, but I actually love using this during the day and at nighttime. It keeps my lips really nice and moisturized and it's even good for the day because it's just a nice clear gloss. So it gives a nice glossy look to the lips. Just quick and easy when I use this product and this together. Just a nice, a quick lip look to do. This is just so, so nice. I love this, such a nice lip treatment. And then lastly, one more lip product I wanna mention for this year that's been a favorite of mine is the Kosas Wet Stick. I have the shade Malibu. This is so, so pretty. I do not like matte lip products. I love something that is going to be a balm, something's very moisturizing, but also it's fun if it does have a bit of a tint to it or a bit of color to it. And this is just absolutely gorgeous. This shade Malibu Malibu is such a pretty pink shade it's a little bit more than like a lip tint a little bit more than like a tinted lip balm it has pigment closer to like a lipstick it actually has pretty good pigment and I have done a video about this if you want to check it out it's kind of like a balm lipstick in a way it's very moisturizing on the lips kind of gives a little bit of a glossy look to the lips but also gives some really nice pigments so this is absolutely beautiful and definitely a favorite of mine this year as well so there it is this is my full face of my top 20 clean beauty favorites of 2023 i absolutely love all of them and i mean how pretty is the look that they put together all used together i absolutely love them if you do want to check out any of these products i will have everything listed and linked in the description box below and I do also have a discount code for RMS beauty for 20% off so definitely check out the description below if you do want to try anything from RMS let me know what your favorite makeup products of this year have been in the comment section below I'd love to know what they are I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and if you'd like to see even more content from me in the future I would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel but thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you for my next video <laughs>